We're going to return back to the electrical tray in our kit and we're going to show everyone how heat shrink tubing works. Now there are several types of heat shrink tubing. This one happens to be one that has a soft inside and a hard outside just like our butt connector. Heat shrink tubing can be used just like our multi-link connector to seal fittings. Sometimes a customer will have butt connectors that they think are good but they're just not quite sure. They will put heat shrink on them rather than go to a new connector. In this case we're going to take what is called a ring tongue out of our electrical drawer. The ring tongue, second bin back. A ring tongue is your multi-link once again. Crimp, solder, and seal. And we're going to put it onto the end of our previously butt connected, for lack of a better phrase, cross-link primary wire. With of course our wire cutting, wire stripping tool. Once again, cut the area of wire that you want to strip off. Not enough, take a little more. Turn the ends, put it into the ring tongue. Now you want to do what? You want to crimp. There is your blue green dot in the middle. So you go to your blue green dot in the middle, and you simply crimp. Now you've got a real good crimp. Now we're going to seal this just for notoriety's sake. Now we have lit our torch once again with our Momar lighter. Now we have a little bit too much heat again, so let's turn our heat back. Now we're going to melt our ring tongue and solder and seal. We're going to melt our shrink tubing, our solder, and our seal. Because we do not have a better way of demonstrating shrink tubing today, we're going to show shrink tubing on top of this multi-link connector. Just to give you a general idea of how it can help. Sometimes butt connectors will become aged. I don't care how good they are. They become cracked, they become brittle, and the customer doesn't want to take his electrical contacts apart. He may just wish to take his screw out of here and put shrink tubing on it. We're going to take a piece of the red shrink tubing from the electrical drawer, electrical tray and cut it off for demonstration purposes. Now we're going to go up over our primary cross-link wire, over our multi-link. Now you could cover your multi-link. In this case, we're going to what we simulated to be an old ring tongue connection that's cracked and going bad, and the customer wants to protect it once again. This is how you do it with shrink tubing. First of all, please move your fingers back the line. <laughs> I've made the mistake enough of times of forgetting to do just that. Once again, keep moving, don't burn. You notice how it is shrinking and self-fusing itself over top of that old fitting. Now you notice out here at the edge, a little bit of moisture is starting to show. What that moisture is, is a, an adhesive coating inside of the shrink tubing that gives you your moisture seal. See the black shiny stuff on the top there? That's the adhesive. I'm just melting the back end right now to show you where we're going here. See the adhesive at the end? Now that you've got your adhesive at that end, Go up here and melt and get your adhesive running out this end. Always get your adhesive working first. That way you know your ends are sealed. The adhesive is like a liquid non-conductive rubber. Once again, your customer takes an inexpensive piece of tubing, 
and he's shrinking and he's sealing. Now you may wonder, why does Rod's middle of this shrink tubing not shrink? Well, you have to remember, we have our butt connector and our solder fitting in there. But the important thing is, look at the sealant on the end here. No moisture, no air, no corrosion, no alkalis, no acid are going to get in there and hurt our wire joint or wire fitting. Try not to let it flame up. Nobody's perfect, least of all me. You see your adhesive starting to come out the end? We've gone about as far as we can go on this without starting to burn it now because it's shrunk onto the old butt connector. What we have here now is the adhesive coming out the top, out the bottom. Shrink tubing gives you a double insulation for areas such as heavy equipment that are out in the weather that take a beating. Shrink tubing is very popular. Shrink tubing is also popular in hospitals where they have equipment that they do not want to break down during surgery or medical testing, the biomedical labs. Shrink tubing is popular there as well. Also, many, many other locations use shrink tubing.